Hello, in this video we're going to derive an average variable cost curve from a firm's production function. So we got a basic short run production function here where output is a function of units of labor. Capital again is fixed in the short run. The average product of labor is defined as the quantity of output divided by the number of workers that produce that output. This just means output per worker. We have the firm's total cost, which is comprised of a fixed cost component and variable cost. FC will represent fixed cost, and with one variable input, the variable cost will equal the wage times L, which represents, again, units of labor. Average variable cost is defined as the firm's variable cost divided by units of output. So average variable cost is just the variable cost per unit. On average, how much do we have in each unit in terms of variable cost, in this case, labor? So substituting in for variable cost is W times L, and then dividing that, W times L by Q, we get this expression, which will simplify down to the wage divided by the average product of labor. So how do we go from this part to this part? Well, we recognize that L divided by Q is nothing more than the reciprocal of the average product of labor. So L divided by Q is just 1 over average product. We make that substitution in here, and we have the firm's average variable cost equation. Let's do a numerical example. From this firm's production function, we want to find the average variable cost equation, assuming the wage equals $100. So first we get average product of labor. The firm's output divided by units of labor. So for Q, I'm substituting in 10 times the square root of labor. That's all going to be divided by L. Using the rules of exponents here, this L in the denominator, just move that up into the numerator, which is now expressed as L to the minus 1 power. And um, adding up these exponents here, we have the average product of labor equals 10 times L raised to the minus 1 half power. Average variable cost, as we proved in the last screen, was w the wage divided by the average product of labor. The wage is given at $100. The average product of labor we just found. So making those substitutions, uh, 100 divided by 10, we just get 10. And uh, just moving this uh, L term in the denominator into the numerator, we get average variable cost equals 10 times the square root of labor. Uh, when we express average variable cost, we usually express it as a function of output. So we're going to make a substitution into this average variable cost equation. So we can have average variable cost as a function of output, not units of labor. Uh, to do that, I'm going to first solve the production function for L to the 1 half. So just dividing through by 10, L to the 1 half power equals Q divided by 10. And now I'm going to substitute this expression in the average variable cost where I have L to the 1 half power here, I'm going to substitute in Q divided by 10. So making that substitution, 10 times Q divided by 10, we get a very simple average variable cost equation that just equals Q. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.